During his rally this past week in Hialeah, Florida, Donald Trump let a, well, let's just say he let something slip that he ought to just kept to himself. Trump told the crowd that it is very difficult for him to win in court when he is up against these judges that were appointed by Democrats. However, whenever he goes in front of a Republican judge, he basically gets everything that he wants, which of course it's very obvious that Donald Trump is of course referring to Eileen Cannon down in South Florida that has gone along with every single idiotic brain dead thing that Trump and his lawyers have put in front of her, including most likely postponing his trial till after next year's election. But here is exactly what Donald Trump said. Let's say Obama, because let's not even talk about Biden yet, but an Obama judge will say, you know, I'm proud of it. And I don't care what the merits of this case you're in deep trouble. It's hard to win. Trump says, whereas a Republican judge, a lot of them, not all of them. And we just want fairness, but a Republican judge will say, I want to show my fairness. So what I'll do is I'll screw the Republican and everyone will think I'm fair. Um, okay. He, he has a couple more quotes that I do want to read there, but, but he's like a Republican judge, the Republican judge. Those are the ones that I'm having better luck with. Some of them will say, let's screw the Republican, but not all of them. He says, it is clear from Donald Trump's statement here that he is referring to judge Eileen Cannon and that could haunt him. See, here's the thing. I actually talked earlier this past week about the fact that legal experts already agree that it's probably too late for Jack Smith to request, you know, via a motion, uh, to the appellate circuit. It's probably too late for him to ask for judge cannon to be removed from the trial. This statement where Trump is admitting that, Hey, some Republican judges would do whatever I want them to do. That statement can and should be used in an emergency filing by Jack Smith to get judge Eileen Cannon recused from this case. hundred percent, get the video of it, show the full context, make sure you've got every, every, all of your ducks in a row, whatever it is, bring it to the appellate courts immediately so that they can rule on this because here you have the defendant effectively admitting to a crowd in Florida that, Hey, the judge is in my pocket. I appointed her, you know, she's a good old Republican judge and she's just, she just wants fairness, but that's not what Trump wants. Trump wants the special treatment. Trump wants to get all of his favors granted. And that is what Cannon is doing. And if Jack Smith, who by the way, is a million times better at it than I am saying it, they can put that into a legal filing and they should be able to convince the circuit court, the appellate court, whatever it is, uh, that Cannon should be moved off the case. I, I think they have a real, real chance of being successful with that. And it's all because Donald Trump won't start, uh, stop running his stupid mouth. And now it's going to be used against him. Well, it should be, I can't say for certain, but it should be. Now, as I said, he said some other stupid things. and I do want to hit those real quick. One of them, he said, you know, every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, fascists indict me, they indicted me. Can you believe it? My father and mother are looking down saying, son, how did that happen? We're so proud of you. How did that happen? First of all, your mother and father are probably not looking down on you. Um, if there is an afterlife, they're probably having to look up. Sorry. Let's be real. Um, secondly, why would they say, how did this happen? We're so proud of you. How did this happen? Like, why would they sandwich a, how did this, you know, we're so proud of you in between two, how did this happens? Like that, that's not a way a normal person's brain works either, Donald. Um, but yeah, that was pretty dumb. He also said everybody's been discredited, uh, with regard to the witnesses that the New York fraud trial is called. That's, that's not even close to being reality, but he's lying his face off because he's feeling desperate. And he wanted to tell the crowd that it's all because of these Democrat judges, but in doing so, opened himself up to losing his only legal ally. And that of course is judge Eileen Cannon. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, 
click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.